Well, hello everybody. So today I am uh, quite proud to present you in this video the latest VCR that I got in my collection. And it's the Sony VCR that you see right here in front of the camera. And uh, well, this is a very special VCR. And uh, this, is a, this type of VCR is extremely rare to find. And uh, well, this is something that I have always wanted. So I decided to save up my money and uh, buy one on eBay. And uh, well, the reason is because, uh, well, I decided that uh, when you uh, when there is one thing you really want is in life it's not the price that will stop you from having it and uh, so uh, yeah I saved up quite a quite a lot of money to buy with this uh, this machine on eBay it cost quite a fortune because uh, this uh, this VCR is actually refurbished by a professional technician and uh, he is called Dr. Sony and uh, well this guy he is uh, quite known on eBay to uh, be someone who uh, repairs Sony VCRs and uh, he also repairs all kinds of VCRs, but uh, he used to work for Sony, and uh, he's like one of the best uh, uh, Sony technicians uh, in the US. And uh, he is uh, quite popular, quite known. And uh, who, so he did a really good, he does, uh, he's known for doing a really good job at refurbishing VCRs and uh, basically uh, making them, uh, fixing them to be like new. So uh, I decided to uh, buy this one so I can. Uh, like I uh, have the best chances to uh, have a VCR that is uh, working and that's, uh, that is likely to last long basically so I'll explain you uh, basically all the bad electronics uh, all the electronic parts and capacitors all that uh, that are likely to fail after time well they have all been replaced by uh, new ones and uh, so this VCR right now is fully working and I have actually uh, filmed an unboxing video of, uh, like me unboxing this VCR from the from the the eBay box and I've t and testing it and so there was a little uh, bad luck that happened with this VCR it broke during the shipping so I had to uh, to uh, ship it back to Dr. Sony so he can uh, repair it and so I guess that that's part of the of the risk in uh, buying uh, like used electronics on online and so I decided to take that risk for like a uh, I will say for the good of this uh, VCR collecting hobby and so uh, this VCR has a screen here it's under this this door here and there is a little control pan control panel that uh, falls down and uh, so uh, you might you might think that, uh, that uh, this VCR looks uh, quite familiar and uh, I'll show uh, I'll show you why uh, you might think that just now so right here now under the Sony EVS 2000 uh, I've put another VCR, another Sony VCR that I already had, which is a VHS VCR. And uh, well, this VCR, the front uh, looks uh, very similar to this one, and so uh, that is why it looks familiar. They look very similar, and I'm going to compare these two VCRs in this video. And uh, so, what is uh, special with this Sony model EVS 2000 VCR is that uh, well, it is a video Hi8 VCR, so it uses these tapes. And so uh, this is very rare, and so this is not a VHS VCR, and it records on these tapes, which uh, are usually a, a camcorder format. So uh, the video 8 format and high 8 uh, was uh, more popular, uh, was popular mostly for camcorders, but uh, v v video 8 and high 8 decks uh, like this one were very rare, and so these uh, sell for quite a lot of money on eBay. So, uh, like I said in the video when I unboxed this VCR, uh, I've uh, spent 400 US dollars for this one. So you might think that that, that I'm crazy, but uh, I've explained why I decided to uh, pay that amount and uh, buy this VCR. So right here below this VCR, uh, there is the Sony model SLV686HF VHS VCR. So uh, before I will show the inside of this uh, Sony EVS 2000 Hi8 VCR, well I'm going to show the the functions, the features that this VCR has, and also I'm going to compare it with the the Sony SLV 686 HF VCR. And so let's get started with it. And uh, now, uh, well I will turn on the TV first because I'm going to play the tape. Well right now the Sony Hi8 VCR is plugged to the CRT TV here, so it's ready to play tapes. And this is the blue screen that appears on the VCR by default. And uh, there is the tape speed and the tape counter 
that are displayed there and uh, this is a real time counter, it's in uh, hour, minutes and seconds and uh, there is something on this VCR that I don't really like and that uh, this Sony VCR here uh, also does the same thing is that uh, this text here on the screen, you cannot uh, remove it uh, you cannot make it disappear if you don't have the, the remote And uh, but uh, me fortunately I do have the remote it came with it, I don't know if it's uh, the, re the original remote but it's a Sony VCR remote and uh, it does all it has to do uh, uh, with this VCR and uh, if you press the data screen button uh, it disappears and uh, well uh, I'm assuming that uh, it is compatible also with this uh, Sony VHS VCR that I'm going to uh, compare after so here on this uh, EVS uh, 2000 there is a control panel that uh, opens there and it falls there and uh, so you have uh, like uh, some editing functions on it and you have the the, the, the display here, the, the screen which is pretty interesting, it displays the time counter and uh, the, the, the clock here which I have already set with the remote and you have also a sound meter here uh, like most uh, high-end VCRs have and uh, the, the other Sony uh, has it too this is a quite high-end uh, VCR the Sony SLV686HF so uh, this is not a SVHS VCR, it was not like, uh, as expensive of course as this Hi8 but uh, for a v VHS VCR this was a pretty good one and it's also an editing VCR this one uh, you have a control panel here too very similar to this one, only here it's not on the, the front of the, of the screen uh, here and uh, you also have editing functions on this one too and uh, you have a uh, rec mode SP and EP and uh, this one does not record the uh, LP speed on VHS and so uh, here on this VCR you have a uh, AV input and you have S video because this is a high 8 VCR so it records with a higher resolution if you have a uh, high 8 types which uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, test this function and demonstrate it uh, just later and here you have a control L input that's what it's called I don't know exactly what this does, but I think it's uh, like related to uh, plugging the VCR to uh, other editing VCRs or, or to a computer so that you can uh, like control the VCR. So that's how I think uh, editing VCRs work at the time, like the very high-end ones, which uh, this one is, uh, is uh, pretty high-end. And uh, the other Sony VCR also has uh, this AV, but uh, since this is not a SVHS VCR, um, it does not have uh, uh, S-Video. So uh, this, uh, this VCR is from 1992 and uh, it's, it's like uh, one of uh, the Sony top of the line VCRs uh, for that time. This is a very high-end VCR, it was uh, like, a, like a, at least over a thousand dollars at this time. It was very expensive and uh, there exist other consumer Sony VCRs that are like more high-end but uh, they are like later models. So if you know high-end VCRs, uh, you might know the, the Sony model uh, EVS 7000 and uh, speaking of that VCR my friend who uh, gave me uh, a lot the lot of the lot of camcorders recently he that he shipped uh, them to me uh, Zachary his a channel uh, YouTube channel friendly audio video uh, he has a Sony model EVS 7000 and uh, that one has a control panel that uh, opens basically like a like a drawer and so that that's quite in interesting but uh, that one that I'm talking about, uh, EVS 7000, this model is from 1995. It was later than this one, so uh, I'm assuming that uh, this was the, the top of the line high 8 VCR uh, in 1992. And uh, something that I have noticed, and now I will go uh, on the menu of this VCR. And uh, here's the menu. The menu. And uh, for being a high end VCR like this, it's a pretty basic menu. And. Uh, if I go to a uh, clock set, you you see now I set it to 1996. It's Saturday today. I just wanted to set it on Saturday, though. so this appears uh, on the screen. You you see the the day of the week also appears here, and you can see where it goes up to 2006, 2007, and then goes back to 1992. So the date only goes from 1992 to 2007. So I. Uh, what if you want to uh, use this uh, in 2019? So what? Uh, only so uh, 12 years uh, after the the maximum, the the highest year that is uh, on there. 
and so just like the other Sony VCR, this one has a command mode. So if you had uh, multiple uh, Sony VCRs, you could uh, control uh, three of them with uh, one remote. So I think the Sony VCR remotes were compatible with uh, all Sony VCRs from from the time. So VHS, Beta, and Hi8. Sony made the, the these three uh, type of VCRs. And uh, yeah, the front is very similar to that that one. Uh, you can see with uh, this uh, this uh, shuttle here. If I turn it there, uh, of course there is no tape, so it beeps just like the other Sony. And uh, let me plug it now, so uh, you will uh, see it turn on. And right now the SLV 686 HF is uh, plugged, and when I turn it on, you can see it beeps, and the screen is very similar. You can see it's basically a. Uh, it's almost the same screen. It looks uh, very similar. Like the writings are at the same place. And this one, when you turn it on, it does not uh, do a beeping sound. But uh, when you press the functions, when there is no cassette, it beeps. This one too. And uh, this Sony VCR has uh, the high speed rerun functions function and uh, all Sony VCRs with this mechanism have high speed rewind and they also uh, there existed high 8 VCRs that have the high speed rewind function like the Sony EVS 7000 and there's also the model EVC 200 that uh, has the high speed rewind so uh, all uh, uh, Sony high 8 VCRs with that uh, mechanism that I'm talking about uh, all these uh, have the the high speed rewind but uh, this one does not have uh, have it And so the, this Sony VCR is basically the the VHS counterpart of uh, this Hi8 because it uh, looks uh, the the front uh, like uh, the, it looks very similar the shape and everything you see with the with this uh, rounded uh, corners here and here so uh, yeah you notice the the style of uh, that Sony uh, of how Sony made the, their VCRs. This one has a feet like this. Now we will see the back side of the this Sony VCR. So now I have just uh, turned around my two VCRs. And uh, here is the, the, the back side of the Sony EVS 2000. And uh, here is the label. And uh, on this one it doesn't use a sticker, it just uh, printed on the metal. And uh, here, I don't know what, what this thing is. If someone knows it, uh, you can tell me in the comments. And uh, like on most VCRs, you have a uh, channel 3 and 4 uh, selector. So if for uh, people who don't know uh, what this does, it's uh, basically if you plug it to a TV using the the this uh, the coaxial cable, uh, well, uh, you uh, have a uh, you will uh, select your t to uh, you will select your TV to uh, either channel 3 or 4 to uh, see your tape playing. The, the picture of the VCR, so that's basically what it does. And uh, here you have the power cord, it comes uh, directly in there. And here, uh, control in, in. So I don't know what is the difference between this one and, uh, and uh, the plug that is uh, on the front. But uh, this is for controlling the VCR with something else, other machines. And uh, here you have a uh, line in and out. You have a S video and a regular RCA cables, and you have two outputs, so uh, you could display it uh, on uh, two uh, on two monitors or two TVs. And here's the other, uh, the VHS VCR, and this one has a separate power plug, and which the, and this one uh, surprisingly does not have one. My other Sony VCRs that I have, which are this uh, this uh, Sony uh, here SLV 730 HF and this SLV 779 HF. Uh, these two have a separate power plug, but the Betamax here, the SL100, does not uh, have that. And uh, now we will insert the tape in this VCR. You could uh, hear it, uh, the mechanism loading, it's pretty quiet. 
and uh, here you have a little light that uh, lights up when the tip is inserted and you will have this uh, Hi8 light that is uh, uh, that will uh, light on if it's a Hi8 tape but this one is a regular 8 and so this is a uh, something that I have uh, filmed when I was testing the the Canon Hi8 camcorder So I use all this uh, when I when I reviewed the Canon uh, Hi8 camcorders, and uh, I just press pause. And uh, this VCR has a perfectly clear pause picture. So uh, if it looks like this, I'm assuming that the VCR uh, actually processes the video uh, digitally, and uh, it basically takes a screenshot of the the tape playing before it uh, stops. So I think that's how it works, this one. So if I fast forward, well now there is nothing moving, but... Uh, so you can see the, the picture can kind of freeze for moments when you fast forward and rewind. So uh, I'm assuming it's processing the video digitally, like I said. Because it does not look like a VHS VCR when fast forward and rewind. And uh, I did not expect this VCR to look like this because it's an analog VCR. It kind of looks like a some somehow like a mini DV, but uh, it does lines, but it kind of freezes. So this is just I had uh, plugged my Panasonic mini DV camcorder here to the the Sony Hi8, and uh, I have also uh, recorded the, the the two speeds at this moment. I have not tested the Hi8 yet, but I'm going to uh, open a Hi8 tape that Zachary sent to me and uh, I'm going to uh, test it on this VCR. So at one point I switched to LP. So there it was recorded on, uh, recording on LP speed. And also I'm going to uh, show you uh, in a few, what happens if you pre if you play a LP tape on a, a Hi8 camcorder? And uh, since this is a refurbished VCR, uh, the jog shuttle, uh, well, the shuttle uh, works perfectly. So now it's on slow motion. Now regular play speed. And. Uh, Play times two. Picture is like a. It's like a not playing fluid. It's like a jerky. So uh, when you fast forward and you rewind. So uh, on this VCR, when you play the different speed, uh, the picture is like a uh, somehow jerky, like a not uh, not fluid. This is a. I think this is normal for these uh, high-end VCRs. Like I think the. That's because, like I said, they process the video uh, digitally, so it doesn't look like a like a VHS VCR when uh, you fast forward and rewind. So uh, on VCRs, when you have a, a shuttle like this that that turns, uh, like this one and this one, uh, often it's going to uh, fail and like uh, doing uh, not the function you want when uh, when you turn it. Like you're going to turn it backwards and it's going to uh, fast forward and uh, switch to all different speeds. This one does not do it because uh, it has been repaired. But uh, this Sony, uh, it sometimes does it. Uh, and uh, right now it's rewinding. And uh, I think it's pretty fast for a uh, 8mm. So uh, you have voice boost. And if uh, this, this DV uh, lights up, I don't know what this does. So you have input select, so you have L1 which is the the AV input on the back, L2 which is uh, those, and you have the channel, you have the channel button. And so uh, all that is pretty interesting. You have counter reset, so you see it, it reset the counter and edit, so uh, there you can uh, turn this on to a uh, uh, like enable the edit function 
This one also has it. So uh, we have two uh, high-end ed editing VCRs. Oh, the tape functions are also lined up here. It just uh, arrived to the beginning. Now it's play. Oh, I filmed the the VCR thing. The beginning of the tape is a little damaged. So uh, this was one year ago when I, when I first got the Canon 8mm camcorder. Oh, it's also lights up. Right now it's on a, like a reverse play. So all the VCR functions like up here. So uh, this is pretty awesome. The VCR is fully working, working, and uh, here on the 8 mm tape you have a record uh, on off switch. So this is a pretty good thing. Uh, I wish uh, VHS tapes how I have had that too. I don't know why in the, no VHS tape has that. So well, let's try to record on it. You have to hold these two buttons. So it says this message on the TV and uh, it injects the tape. So uh, I just I had a splice the beginning of this tape earlier. And also uh, about the mechanism, uh, this Sony VCR has the same mechanism as a uh, very early Sony uh, eight mm camcorders. Uh, from the early 90s and also uh, I think late 80s too. Uh, it also has the same mechanism of, as this uh, video Walkman that I have bought at the thrift store uh, like a, a year ago. So this is a regular video 8 Walkman and uh, I've already reviewed that one. It is uh, the picture does not work because of course uh, all these uh, old things, portable uh, stuff, they uh, all died for um, uh, bad capacitors so if you want to have one working you need to have it refurbished by someone like Dr. Sony, he's the one of these uh, who uh, could uh, fix this and refurbish it. So yeah, same, same mechanism uh, as this. And uh, well, it's, uh, it basically uses a camcorder mechanism, but uh, they added an extra motor for the cassette carriage because uh, uh, this one has a front loading mechanism. And so now after all this talking, uh, I think it's time to uh, see the inside of this VCR. Well, now I have removed the lid of the VCR and uh, unfortunately I had to remove a, a warranty a temper proof sticker that was on the on the, on the lid. So uh, this was for the warranty and uh, well I removed it because well I really wanted to uh, see, the, see the inside of the machine. So now are you ready to see something uh, quite awesome? There it is, the inside of the Sony AVS 2000 hi VCR. So this is uh, quite different from uh, what you see in the, the inside of a typical VHS VCR because uh, you see all that circuitry. This is a, like uh, these machines have a uh, quite a lot of uh, of a very uh, of a small circuitry like that. And uh, so uh, these are quite different from VHS VCR. They like uh, the electronic uh, is uh, finicky on the, on these ones. We could say that and uh, so uh, it's like a uh, it's pretty fragile. We can we can say and uh, like they they pretty finicky those high eight and uh, they that's mostly why uh, it was important for me to uh, buy uh, this one refurbished because uh, like if if you didn't have it refurbished there are good chances that uh, it's not gonna work anymore but this one uh, has been replaced these uh, electronic parts have been replaced with like good ones and uh, there you have the mechanism. And uh, like I said, this is a, a Sony camcorder mechanism put in this uh, deck and uh, with an uh, extra ca cassette carriage front loading mechanism with this motor and uh, there you have the tuner and you have the power supply here on the right side and it's pretty huge this power supply uh, 
I don't know what uh, requires this power supply to be uh, that big, but it's only this in this model box. And uh, yeah, you have a tuner on this VCR because this machine can record TV just like uh, all VHS VCRs. And uh, well, this is a VCR that uh, people could have to record their TV, like, a, and they will use hi 8 tapes instead of VHS. And that was something pretty rare. It, uh, the, the, these decks were not like popular, they were very rare because they were not uh, they were rare, they not, were not popular they were kind of a fail, but maybe probably because they were more expensive and they were VHS one overall but uh, hi eight tapes were uh, about as popular as uh, VHS-C for the camcorder market but for uh, for decks, uh, VHS uh, definitely won so uh, I think that explains why you, most, you mostly find VHS VCRs like in thrift stores and all that and why those uh, those hi are very rare. Now we will take a look at this uh, very cool mechanism. And uh, it loads and the drum uh, stops twinning when, uh, when it's on stop. And now we will press play and uh, we will see the recording of... Uh, like when I've uh, filmed myself uh, doing video chat with Anthony. So yeah, with the Canon ES270 uh, uh, 8mm camcorder that was filmed. And now we will stop and eject. So why? Uh, I'm absolutely fan of this mechanism. Uh, this is so cool. So this is basically a like a very small VCR mechanism, like a VHS VCR, but uh, but uh, <coughs> it's like uh, all smaller parts. And so uh, the part that uh, broke during the transport is uh, actually this cassette carriage. Uh, there is a part of this uh, that uh, broke during the transport, and uh, so that part had to be replaced. And uh, I don't know how the Dr. Sony uh, found that part, but uh, what uh, I'm assuming is that uh, with uh, his years of career of a technician, uh, he had those uh, like in stock because, of course, these parts are not man manufactured anymore since like uh, uh, over 20 years. So if something goes wrong with the mechanism, well, you're pretty much screwed. If you uh, if you can't uh, if if it's like something broken. You still might still be able to glue, but uh, the, the, these parts are not manufactured anymore. So that is so cool. So I will just insert it again and uh, show you the fast forward and rewind speed. So of course it's not as fast as the EVS 7000 and all the VCRs with that mechanism I'm talking about. So uh uh, something that is uh, special on this one is that uh, it fast forward and rewind with the pinch water and gauge here against the capstan. So uh, the loading mechanism is in the same position and uh, play fast forward and rewind. So right now the pinch water is turning. Usually on a VHS VCR the pinch water disengages and the, the reels go in a full torque to do fast forward and rewind. So uh, purely awesome. So there you have this uh, small drum, and uh, here you have an auto head cleaner. Uh, 
Dr. Sony probably uh, talked about this, so uh, if the auto head cleaner is still there, I'm guessing that, is, uh, that it's good. He's not gonna sell me a VCR with a, a rotten auto head cleaner. And uh, here, and at the uh, rear left side, you have the loading motor and it's placed vertically. It's placed uh, downwards, and it drives a uh, warm gear and a shaft that goes there. And it drives like a, a cam gears on the bottom, and you can actually see it uh, here, one of the cam gears. So I will insert the tape again to uh, see, you, let you see that part. Pretty neat, isn't it? So I just noticed, noticed something, the, this loading motor keeps turning when the tape is ejecting, I don't know why it does that. Pretty interesting. And uh, there you have the, the motor for the cassette carriage. It uh, just drives this gear, and it drives a series of gear. Uh, you have, uh, if you want to see them and uh, access them, you have to remove that uh, white plastic part on the, on the side of it. Now, I will just place my camera here at the back and uh, show the mechanism in, the, in a different angle. And uh, I absolutely love this. And uh, I've also not mentioned, but uh, the front, the the front of the VCR is made of metal. So all the all this part, and uh, I think uh, most uh, most of these uh, high-end VCRs uh, have a metal front. My Mitsubishi uh, SVHS VCR that I used to have also had uh, uh, something in metal like that. And so uh, on this VCR, you don't have a uh, you don't have an audio head, and uh, all Hi8 don't have a separate audio head, it's uh, all on the drum. So that's something that uh, works different from VHS VCRs. And uh, here um, in the center of the drum, this little arm, it's the, the static collector, so it removes the static, in the, the static in the screen. You have that on some VHS VCRs, and sometimes it's uh, located on the bottom side. And uh, this VCR has flying eraser. So I just like the other, uh, the other Sony here. So this is a function for high-end VCRs, and uh, so that allowed to do a uh, clear uh, cu cuts when editing. So if you stop recording and then uh, pause the recording and uh, start recording again, if you want to insert video at the beginning of the the video sequence, you're not going to have like a like a messed up picture, like a, like you like it does on. Uh, and uh, basic VHS VCRs that don't have the flying erase head function. So it basically has a, an erase head on the drum. This is, this is beautiful, this mechanism. I love it. And you have this, uh, this head cleaner that uh, enters in contact with the drum when, you, uh, when the tape inserts. when the tape loads and unloads. Something that I wanted to mention is that uh, this mechanism is quite similar to a, a mini DV mechanism. So I'm talking, ab I'm talking about the one found in the uh, uh, JVC VHS, uh, well, SVHS mini DV combo decks, like the one the VCR King has. And uh, I find the mechanism pretty similar because uh, uh, the, VCR, the VCR King's mini DV deck also has a motor place like that separate motor for the front loading mechanism and the loading motor placed at this location so uh, this is something that is similar there's a detail that I that I wanted to mention too 
you will see when the tape unloads. Uh, you might have already noticed it uh, unloads the tape, it unspools the tape from uh, the right spool instead of the left. Oh, here is something uh, pretty interesting inside the lid. It's an EVBS 2000. I don't know why there's a letter B, but maybe that's the like the Japanese model. So now I just put the tape in this Canon Hi8 camcorder, and I'm going to play it to uh, show you what happens. Uh, when this camcorder tries to play a uh, LP tape so I'm about to switch the speed this is what happens so it uh, keeps playing and uh, on fast speed and it can play LP tapes properly so now here on YouTube on my iPad I wanted to uh, show you friendly audio videos channel so my friend Zachary I'll show you his videos here uh, his latest upload the, the Sony EVS 7000 uh, Hi8 VCR so uh, I recommend you watch uh, this video and uh, then uh, last year he uh, uploaded a few uh, a few VCR videos uh, like the tape loading mechanism of uh, some of his VCRs and camcorders so you see what it has uh, here Sony uh, Hi8 and Mini TV video Walkman informational video so uh, this is a very interesting video I watched it and I liked uh, this video and there a video of a uh, KitchenAid uh, ball lift stand mixer, so uh, he has like a an other hobby on uh, uh, collecting and refurbishing KitchenAid uh, ball lift mixers. So uh, this is uh, pretty interesting. And then he has some other videos, uh, Sony DHR1000 uh, Mini DV VCR. So basically, he's got all the best stuff. Uh, and uh, here. It was in 2007, 11 years ago, almost 12, he uh, uploaded a video of a Sony EVS 2000 VCR that uh, he used to have. So that's really interesting. And the uh, Sony uh, SLV R5 UC. So I recommend you watch uh, his videos, it's pretty interesting. Like I said, he's got all the best stuff. And now here on Google Image, I wanted to uh, show you another Hi8 VCR. Here is the Sony EVC100 Hi8 VCR. So uh, this is pretty interesting. It looks uh, very similar to the EVS2000, but uh, as you can see, it's like smaller and it's more compact, and it doesn't have that control panel. It has a smaller display, and this one is also a high-end uh, Hi8 VCR. It's uh, I think it's an editing VCR too. I don't know what it does. Uh, uh, that uh, I don't know what it does less than the S2000. But uh, it's like more more compact and has the same mechanism, so that's pretty interesting. And uh, there's also a standard eight version of uh, that VCR, is the model uh, EVA50. But yeah, I decided to buy the the highest end version of that. So uh, now that's what concludes uh, this video about the Sony EVS2000 high eight VCR, the likes of right now. So I'll see you later guys for another uh, VCR video, bye!